Hi, my name is Grisel Andrada and I'm here to present a project in Tronics 3 under Ramon Garcia. So first, what is a wind bridge oscillator? A wind bridge oscillator is an electronic oscillator that produces sine waves. It is used to find unknown values in components. It is a two-stage amplifier with RC bridge and a lead lag networks. The feedback circuit in a wind bridge oscillator uses a lead lag networks. So in this case, or in my schematic diagram, I'll show you where where is the lead lag networks. So this is the lead lag networks. There you go. R4 and C2 together form the lead portion, while R3 and C1 is the lag portion. While the voltage divider in the circuit is where the R2 and R1 oh, I really can put them together in a box, but R2 and R1 is where the voltage divider is. So our first objective is to find the frequency of the circuit. So first, we need to run the circuit, I'll run the file. Mm -hmm. There we go. Then tap the V out. Then you will see the sine wave of the output of the circuit. We can magnify it to further see the sine waves. Oops. Hmm. Click the V out and adjust the cursor. Okay, let's say this. Okay. Oops. Okay. Click again the V out, then adjust the cursor too. There you go. So looking at these, you can see that the frequency is equivalent to 160, 160 hertz. Let's check if in the computation, using the formula 1 over 2 pi times r times the capacitor is equals to 160 hertz. Let's check. So now I will show you how to find the frequency using the FFT analysis. So run the schematic, tap the V out, and go to view and choose FFT. Click the V out, and you will see another graph. The Y represents the in decibels and the x represents the frequency of this output voltage so we need to magnify or zoom into the graph so we can measure the highest point adjust the cursor So at around this point, the, the frequency is around 159.44 Hz. So let's compute for the frequency of our wind gauge oscillator. The output voltage peaks at the frequency which is called the resonant frequency, which is given by the formula of F is equals to 1 over 2 pi times R times C. With the given conditions that R1 is equals to 2 times R2, R3 is equals to R4, and C1 is equals to C2. Look at our, looking at our schematic diagram, let's see if the conditions are met. R1 must be 2 times R2, which is correct. R4 is equals to R3, which is correct. And the capacitors must be equal, which is also correct. So now let's compute for the 
frequency. The given R, given resistor is 1 times 10 raised to 3. And the capacitor is 1 times 10 raised to negative 6 or 1 for farad. F is equals to 1 over 2 pi over times, I mean 1 times 10 raised to 3 times 1 times 10 raised to negative 6. Okay. Solving it in our calculators, the answer that I got is 1 times 10. The answer is 159.15.5. Hertz. Comparing it to the measured, it is almost close on, or almost equal. It is okay to have a little discrepancy, maybe because of how that I point the cursor in my sine wave. But as long as the measured and computed values are equal, then it's okay. Or almost equal, it is okay. So we're done in computing the frequency of our oscillator. So now we have to get the frequency response of the simulation. So first we need to change is the voltages. From DC we need to change it to AC. And we need to add another spice directive which is the AC analysis. So from, from the drafts click spice directive. Help me edit analysis command. So from one kil from one hertz, our stop frequency will be at one kilohertz. Click OK. And now we're good to go. So click the run and tap the V out. So now we're able to see. The output voltages varies with the frequency. Solid green line represents the amplitude or the frequency while the dotted green line represents the phase. So with this analysis we can find the cut of frequency, the phase lag, and so on. So to measure those, click V out and adjust the cursor where it started to decrease or as the signal started to decrease so at that point the cut of frequency is 19.91 which is almost equal to 20 hertz and with a phase lag of 179.85 degrees so basically that's how we use LP spice in analyzing the wind bridge oscillator frequency response with time domain and frequency domain simulations. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something.